Hey everybody, I just wanted to introduce my Apollo project in this update because I've gotten pretty close to actually getting the Saturn V rocket completed. As you can sort of see here, I've gone a bit of a different route than some of the other modders in terms of how I've separated out the pieces um, in the three stages and then the skirts between them. And then of course up here, I have the pedal fairing and this is sort of my dummy craft that I have right now because I haven't actually built the spacecraft that's next on the list. But to give you an idea, this is how far I've gotten and we're just going to do a quick launch demo to give you an idea of what it looks like. Okay, so this is the Saturn V on the launch pad with the dummy payload. Right now, this is the plume I have. I'm still playing around with it because, uh, oh, just, just ignore the other rocket that crashed. I've been doing a bunch of tests, a lot of tests. Anyway, so this is what I currently have for the launch sequence. Um, this is specific to the F1 engine. It doesn't exist in any other sort of engine setup, but uh, yeah, now that we're launched up, we'll go through quickly the cycle of uh, the stages to show you that they, yeah, they do work and to give you an idea of what to expect um, from an actual launch with this rock. Okay, so normally you can't get all the way up into space with the first stage, but I still have to do some waiting on the rocket. But it does have a couple different uh, stages that we can quickly run through. And then obviously we have the Signition stage. And then we also have our reverse thrusters on the second stage. And the third stage has this engine and then as we go through here we can then go to our pedal fairing which is very popular and this brings us to our spacecraft now i did make a slight change since the last time i showed you the pedal fairing and that is that it will not eject the bottom rocket until a second click this allows you to reposition the first rocket into a location that you want and then declick the whole thing um, rather than having the lower spacecraft floating in space, which some people mentioned to me that they didn't actually think was going to be a good idea because then you're trying to capture something light with uh, docking ports. We'll dock here in a second. There we go. And then we just simply press the pedal flaring again, and now we can leave the safety of the rocket. Now, in the spin-off technology that I have, the pedal fairings can close and reopen again and do all this stuff. In this Apollo one, which is size for Apollo, that's it. It is now complete. It will not do anything else um, for the duration of its existence. Once it's opened and ejected the core, that is it. And then obviously here we have the rocket and we can fly it off to wherever we want. Again, it's a dummy rocket, so it doesn't have the proper fuel or the... Uh, correct engine on the back. Um, I still have to actually build the spacecraft. So that is what I'm going to do in the next update. But for now, I thought, why not show you guys how far I've gotten? And uh, if you have any suggestions or you see something horribly wrong, let me know in the comments below. I do know I have to weight the rocket properly, which I haven't done yet. But up to the uh, spaceship, I think I've gotten all the functional components of it completed with the exception of the escape tower which obviously is going to go with the spaceship because it's got to fit thanks for watching